Shalom and welcome back. All right, so I want to show you a perfect example of how um, you can pull an access term from the scripture and show it encoded. And the term we're going to look at is in Jeremiah 31, 31, when it says, See, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when I shall make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Yehuda. That is two different houses. If you know your scripture, uh, Yeshua said in Matthew that he had come for who? For the lost sheep of Israel. So let's go to the table. And the word in Hebrew, by the way, is Brit Hadesha. I'll take you over to the numbers and show you. <clears throat> it appears one time in the plain text scriptures, but it's also encoded as well. You're looking at this one right here. This is the first one found, um, so no particular reason of picking that one other than it was convenient. But some really amazing thing is uh, very apparent here is the code confirms the word. Now, what are you talking about? Okay, so Many of you know this term as the New Covenant or uh, the New Testament. Um, some even go as far to say as the Old Testament is null and void. Thus the word old. Uh, and I submit that uh, one is no good without the other. They both go together. And here's the reason. Yeshua said, I am, uh, he, he is the testimony of the word. Each, all of the, all of the word testifies unto him. And I'm paraphrasing here. But, in this table, you'll see a clear connection to him as that redeemer, that kinsman redeemer. Um, those northern tribes who were scattered into the, the nations, he again redeems and brings us back. I believe it's a blood connection. This is my opinion. I believe that because of the influx of fallen angels and the Nephilim, this is Yahuwah's way of purging that blood and purifying the people by scattering the nations. So let's just jump right in. We got Brit Halisha. And I have it on a road skip. You see here is at a 10, 6, 9, 1. And up at the top, we have the Messiah, Hamashiach. Um, the children of Israel with the Mashiach standing on top. Uh, and his name, Yahushua, right here. It's also in this line encoded. It is also on the other side, connected to uh, the redemption. You see there in red, which you also see the Messiah in the blue, connecting with the Vav of his name, and also sitting on top of a covenant. The, the Brit is his name there as well. Ephraim is in the plain text. This is about Ephraim. Ephraim is Israel, if you didn't know. Uh, the son of Jesse appears, very small skip, but look at this. Ben Ishi with Bo sitting on the end up there. So you literally have um, the son of Jesse is coming. Uh, on the other side here, vertical is the Messiah. And what we have here in the black is uh, crucified. And right next to it in the blue just happens to be king. So you literally have a crucified king right there. Um, on either side of the access term is the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, which was named again right here. Uh, this is the long spelling with the extra valve of the name given to Kaduri. So that's pretty amazing with uh, the redemption down here. Also Ephraim appears twice. And uh, as you so in what I just read from the ISR, this is about the house of Judah and the house of Israel, which appears down here at the bottom in the minor prophets. These are minor prophets down here. Um, this is Jeremiah, this line right there is Jeremiah. Up here we are in Isaiah. Uh, we're speaking of Israel with uh, the king of Israel and the king of Judah. Two different kingdoms, Ephraim. In an encode ELS in this um, chapter 48 of uh, uh, Isaiah, 
which we'll get into. I didn't highlight it, but I just happened to look at see what Ephraim was encoded. It's, it's, it's read something read worthy. I, I, I say in some of these tables, not all um, verses are, are citable. Some don't even apply. Some do, and then uh, that's when you, you see me highlight them. I didn't get to this one, but we'll read it anyway. Uh, we got the house of Judah with uh, the redemption that comes together. Uh, it, Forms the number seven. That's kind of interesting. Um, and I believe that is our ELS. So let's look at, um, wait a minute, I didn't tell you this one, which is by his blood. Um, of course, talking about Yeshua, Yahushua, right there. Is That is how uh, he redeemed us back, the kinsman redeemer, through his crucifixion. So let's look at the verses I got. Highlighter. Now, this is really interesting um, here, but I'm gonna, I'm going to save that. We'll go up to Isaiah first, right here, where it's mentioning Ephraim. Now, some believe that Ephraim, who had divorced Ephraim forever, as if uh, there was no hope. Uh, well, that is not the case, as you will see in this uh, series of chapters and verses. Right here, we're in Isaiah 7, verse 2. So let me bring that up here. Uh, and it says, And it was told to the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim. Now, what's going on here? Um, Ephraim has caught in coots with the enemy. Against who? Their brother, Judah. Uh, incidentally, Glazerson recently drew the same conclusion in one of his table where he had the son of jo uh, the son of Joseph, uh, Ephraim, and a um, connection to Islam. So uh, I don't know if he sees that with America and what happened with Iran, but that was what the table was about was the the, the uh, atomic situation with Iran. Uh, he sees it as a betrayal with Ephraim and Syria. Uh, but here, here it says, um, and his heart was moved in the heart of his people as the trees of wood are moved with a wind. Then on down, let's go to 48. Here's again Ephraim in the text. And this is Isaiah 48. And you see Ephraim's encoded in the first parts of that chapter. So, let's go to that. All right. We'll start at one. Because this is about the house of Jacob. All right. The name Israel or Ephraim. It's all the same. So, when you hear Jacob, Israel, or Ephraim, it's all the same. Why? Because in Genesis, Jacob blesses Ephraim and says that he will be the fullness of the Gentiles. So he took um, the blessing from, from uh, Jacob and became the, the, the lead, if it were. Hear this, O house of Jacob, which is called by the name of Israel and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of Yehovah and make mention of the Elohim of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. For they call themselves of a holy city and stay themselves upon the Elohim of Israel, the Adonai, oh, excuse me, Yahuwah Sabaoth, and his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them, and I did, and I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I shewed it to thee, lest thou should say, Mine idols hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. And thou hast heard and see all this, and will not ye declare it? I have shown thee new things from this time, even hidden things that thou did not know. 
and they are created now and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou hurtest them not, lest thou should say, Behold, I knew them. Yea, thou hearest not. And this is, incidentally, let me just interject here. This is why the codes cannot be used as a predictive tool. He can give you a crystal ball. He is the only one that knows it. If he reveals something to you, then that is the miracle of it. But first and foremost, these codes are not for predicting anything. He hides things, he reveals things to us in them. For my name's sake will I defer my anger. And for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee, that I cut thee not off. Remember, Ephraim is not cut off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver, and I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For now, should my name be polluted? Talking about the name here, oh, that appears several times in the text. And I will not give my glory to another. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called, I am he, I am the first, and I am also the last. Mine hand hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens, and when I call unto them, they stand up together. O ye assemble yourselves, and hear, which are among them declare these things. Who hath loved him, and he will do his pleasure on Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. I, even I have spoken, yea, I have called him, and I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Come ye near to me, and hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, and from the time that it was. There I am, am I. And I, and now, the Adonai Elohim and his spirit has sent me, and thus saith Yahuwah, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahuwah, thy Elohim, which teacheth thee to profit, and leadeth thee by the way that thou should go. And thou hast hearkened to my commandments, and, hit, and had thy peace been as silver, and thy righteousness as the ways of the sea. And thy seed has also been as the sand, and thy offspring as the bowels like gravel thereof. And his name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before thee. Me. Go ye forth of Babylon, free of the Chaldeans, with a voice of singing, declare and tell this. Utter even to the end of the earth and say, Yahuwah hath redeemed, this is about redemption, his servant Jacob, the kinsman redeemer, the son of Jesse, Yeshua, Yahushua, is the Redeemer. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts, and he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. And he clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. And there is no peace, saith Yahuwah, unto the wicked. Uh, and I just thought that was a great chapter, so I wrote, read the whole thing. I hope you didn't mind. This next verse, in a series of verses, is also Isaiah. In the blue here. Just one verse is what I have here. And this is uh, chapter 9, verse 23. Um, and it says, uh, But let him that glorieth in this, the glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, and that I am who are with, with which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. And in these I delight, saith Yahuwah. And then, of course, the last one here is the actual chapter and verses um, that is relevant to the access term itself. So let's just back up and read this as well. So this is be the other chapter I read to you. We'll close it out. At the same time, Yahuwah, saith Yahuwah, will I be the Elohim of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith Yahuwah, the people which are left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. 
and who hath appeared of old un unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. We're talking about Israel and Judah. Again will I build thee, and thou shalt be a built, O virgin of Israel, and thou shalt again be adorned with thy tablets. How can this be now? If Hosea, if it's, it's written in Hosea that Israel is a, a harlot, how can she again be a virgin? Redemption. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tablets, and shalt go forth with the dances of them, and make merry. And thou shalt plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria, and the planters shall plant, and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go down to Zion, unto Yahuwah our Elohim. For thus saith Yahuwah, Sing with gladness of, for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, and publish ye, praise ye, say, O Yahuwah, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coasts of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, and the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together, a great company shall recur return thither, and they shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them, and will cause them to walk by the rivers in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble, for I am the father to Israel, Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O nations, and declare it off the isles far off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him, as a shepherd doth his flock. And for Yahuwah hath redeemed Jacob, and ransomed him for the hand of, of him, that was stronger than he. Therefore they shall come with and sing with the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of Yahuwah, for for the wheat and for the wine and for the oil, and for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul shall be as watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. And I just want to point out the wheat, the wine, and the oil. It's also mentioned where in Revelation hurt not the wine or the oil. And they shall, the virgin rejoice, rejoice and dance, both young men old together. For I will turn the mourning into joy, and I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satiate their soul with, of the priest with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith Yahuwah. And thus saith Yahuwah, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. And Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. And thus saith Yahuwah, refrain thy voice from weeping, and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith Yahuwah, and he shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end, saith Yahuwah, and thy children shall come again with, to their own border, and I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself. Thus thou hast chastened me, and I was chastened as a bullock, uncustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me, and I shall be turned. For thou art Kua, my Elohim. Surely after I was turned, I repented. And after I was instructed, I smote upon my thigh, and I was ashamed. Yea, even confounded, because I dear, I did bear the reproach of my youth. Is he, is he from my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I spake against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore my bowels are troubled for him, and I surely will have mercy upon him, saith Yahuwah. Set thee up thy way marks, and make thee high heaps, and set thine heart toward the highway, even the way which thou winnest. Turn again, O virgin of Israel, Turn again to these thy cities. Verse 22. How long wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For Yahuwah hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall encompass a man. 
And thus saith Yehoah of Sabaoth, the Elohim of Israel, As yet they shall use the speech in the, hand, in the land of Judah, and in the cities thereof, when, shall, when, when I shall bring again their captivity, the, uh, Yehuah bless thee, O inhabitants of justice, and mountains of holiness. And there shall dwell in Judah itself, and all the cities thereof, together husband men, and they that go forth with flocks. For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. And upon this I awake and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that like I have watched, that as I, excuse me, that like I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict. So I will watch over them to build and to plant, saith Yahuwah. And in those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But every one shall die for his own iniquity, and every man that eateth the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on the edge. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I will make a new covenant, and there it is, the new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith Yehoah. But this shall be the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith Yehoah, will I put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahuwah, for they shall know me, from the least of them, unto the greatest of them, saith Yahuwah, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. And thus saith Yahuwah, which giveth the sun for light by day, in the ordinance of the moon for the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. Who of hosts is his name? If those ordinances depart from me, saith Yahuwah, then the seed of Israel shall cease from being a nation before me forever. And thus saith Yahuwah, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off the seed of, Yeh of Israel, for all that they have done, saith Yehuah. Behold, the days come, saith Yehuah, that the city shall be built unto Yehuah for the tower of Hananiel, and to the corner gates. And the measuring line shall go forth against upon the hill Gareb, it shall compass about Goth. And the whole valley of dead bodies and of ashes of fields unto the brook Kidron, unto the corner horse gate toward the east, shall be holy unto Yahuwah, and it shall not be plucked up nor thrown down no more forever. Hallelujah. All of chapter 31. Just read it all because it is relevant to uh, this table. It's yet to be fulfilled. We are yet to be gathered. And I say, us, you are part of that. You know who you are. Ephraim. So there you go. Brit Hadashah, the new covenant. And what is it about? Well, it's about the kinsman redeemer. Redeeming Israel, bringing Israel, Ephraim, Jacob, back in. Uh, if this has blessed you, folks, remember this ministry. There's a link down below where you can partner with us. We thank you for those who do. If you'd like to be a code searcher, please go to thecodesearcher.com forward slash apply and we will talk to you and get you in the program. Until the next video, shalom. We love you. We sure bless you.